The DRDO has successfully test fired the Made in India Man Portable Anti Tank Guided Missile or the MPATGM. The test was conducted at the field firing range in Rajasthan's Jaisalmer recently. But did you know that about 15 years after the initial decision was taken, only to be spiked later for an Israeli system and then for an indigenous solution, the one that was tested recently, India and the US are back to the negotiating table for the joint production of the shoulder-mounted Javelin anti-tank guided missiles. Yes, the same ATGMs that you have seen in action in the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Now, before I go further, I wanted to tell you that the print is running the print school of journalism. The course for the first batch is almost getting over and admissions are open for the next batch. So if you are someone who is interested in becoming a journalist and learning from the best here at the print and also the guests that we bring on board, do click on the link that is there in the description. Click apply before the time runs out. Now coming back to the video, many people that the print spoke to in the defense and security establishment hardly expressed surprise at the fact that Javelin is back on the table. They said that the US docked pursuit of the deal and the failure of the DRDO to come out with a credible alternative has turned the wheel back to where it started. The discussions on the production of the missiles took place in June when the US National Security Advisor Jack Sullivan came over and met with NSA Ajit Doval during which a number of key issues including military cooperation was discussed. While fresh talks have been held, it was way back in August 2010 that India publicly announced its plans to acquire the Javelins, a system that has proved to be killer in the hands of Ukrainians against the Russians. Now, in a written reply in the Lok Sabha, the then Defence Minister A.K. Antony had informed that his ministry was planning to issue a letter of request to the US for the procurement of the third generation anti-tank guided missile, Javelin. He had said that the procurement was been planned under the US's FMS, that is a foreign military sales route, and would involve transfer of technology. Under the FMS route, the Defence Ministry would directly negotiate with the US government without the involvement of the manufacturer of the missile system. India was required to pay the price which the US government pays to its contractors plus a nominal fee as administrative charges. Remember that it was in 2010 that the army had a shortfall of 44,000 ATGMs of various kinds against a sanctioned holding strength of about 81,000, which means more than half. The army till then was only operating the second generation 2 km range Milan and the 4 km range Conquers ATGMs. However, news came in 2012 that the Javelin deal hit a roadblock over the transfer of critical technology and reluctance of the American government to participate in the field trials. Manufactured under a joint venture of Raytheon and Lockheed Martin, the missile till then had been showcased only at joint exercises held between both the countries. And then in 2014, after the Modi government took over, India decided to buy 8,356 Spike anti-tank guided missiles and 321 launchers from Israel for about Rs. 3,200 crore, rejecting the US offer of Javelin missiles that Washington was lobbying hard for. India was supposed to outrightly buy 8,356 missiles and 321 launchers from Israeli firm Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, followed by transfer of technology to Defense PSU Bharat Dynamics Limited for large-scale manufacture. At that time, it was said that the army needed about 40,000 spike systems to fully equip its 382 infantry battalions and 44 mechanized infantry units. So while the army was set to finally induct the Israeli ATGMs, the DRDO started pitching in for the indigenous MP ATGM, that is a manned portable anti-tank guided missile. DRDO's contention was that the MP ATGM will be a third generation fire and forget ATGM derived from India's NARC ATGM. Based on the claims of the DRDO, the Defence Ministry had in January 2015 approved the DRDO project to make a man portable version of the NARC missile with a 
probable completion date of around July 2018. We are right now in 2024. Just say. Accordingly, in 2017, India cancelled plans to induct the Spike ATGM, much to the surprise of the Israelis. However, following a visit to India in January 2018, Israeli Prime Minister said he was informed by the Indian government that it has decided to put the Spike deal back on track. Earlier that month, in 2018, Rafael had said that it received a letter from India's Ministry of Defense cancelling the deal. The US kept at it and offered joint production of the Javelin under the now defunct DTTI route in 2019. But India kept buying small volumes of Spike to beef up its army even as it waited for the indigenous solution. The Indian MP ATGM is still under development and has been tested several times with the objective of proving the technology's superiority. The system consists of the MP ATGM, launcher, target acquisition system and fire and control unit. However, an ANI report had earlier said that the Indian forces are looking at shoulder-fired missile systems that are less in weight and can be carried in difficult terrains by troops without engaging too many of them to carry it, which means that the Indian army is still not fully happy with the solution and changes are being brought in. This means that the Indian solution is heavier than what the army wanted and beats the whole idea of it being easily portable. However, what I am told is that changes are being made to the system to meet the Indian army's requirement. For the print, this is Snehesh Alex Philip. Do subscribe to the print's YouTube channel for more such videos.